Hi, today we would like to present the SteelWedge Mobile Insight, demonstrating the mobility of the SteelWedge solution in providing up-to-date analytics for your business. Today we show how Tina uses SteelWedge Mobile to understand and derive answers to the problems within sales. Hi, I am Tina. As the Vice President of Sales for CE Corporation, I use SteelWedge Mobile Insight to give me up-to-date analysis on all the metrics I need to manage the business and ensure timely delivery of products worldwide. Today, I will show you how I drill down to a major problem within sales and found solutions to the problems using SteelWedge Mobile Insight. I generally start with the global sales insight view in SteelWedge to know how sales has performed over my last quarter. I select the quarter Q1 2013 and compare the actual sales against the target set by finance. Immediately, my attention is diverted to the red square blocks for Asia-Pacific. Looking at this, I understand that overall Asia-Pacific has been performing poorly against the target. I also notice that the product be used for computer, scanner and printer have been falling short of the target sales. I further see the same trend when comparing the actuals against the planned sales. I understand that there seems to be a major issue in Asia Pacific which is denting the sales numbers globally and decide that we must improve sales in Asia Pacific to get back on track. SteelWet's mobile insight allows me to immediately shoot an email to the regional manager for sales in Asia Pacific asking about his views on the down spiral in sales. Normally, I would need to wait for a response from the regional manager to make my next move. However, Steelwitch Mobile Insight provides me the flexibility to go ahead and discover the root cause by myself. I will now move on to the global sales cockpit, knowing that it will give me more information very easily. On the global sales cockpit, I straight away open the region Asia-Pacific to see what are the problem areas there. This shows me that all countries except China are reaching or exceeding targets and plans. China has been falling short of targets and plans set for the last quarter and also will fall short for the upcoming quarter. Further analysis of the various KPIs shows me that there seems to be a very steep decline in the supply plan for China. This confirms that China is facing severe supply crisis. I now know that for the sales numbers to go up, supply must be improved in China. However, I also realize that I might not be able to convince the supply side executives to follow this plan owing to their supply constraints. I now must look for alternatives to increasing supply in China. Looking at how Japan performed last quarter and before, I noticed that Japan had a very high supply plan compared to the sales plan and demand plan. This meant that in Japan's conservative consumer market, the company's products needed a push to create more demand. This meant promoting the products in Japan by giving a big discount, holding promotions and pushing aggressive marketing. I now feel quite content. I know that for the next executive s and meet, because of SteelWet's mobile insight, I have a plan A and a plan B to present. Before I draw out the plans on paper, I do need a confirmation and exact numbers of how would the projections of plan A and plan B perform with respect to the targets. For this, I open the global sales plan. This is a mashup of multiple KPIs being measured for different countries for different customer regions. I can now confirm the supply shortfall in China and the supply overflow in Japan by the figures. Plan A has me influencing and increasing the supply in China. The dashboard tells me that the projected cost for China's supply improving and meeting the demand would drop the gross margin by 0.08% in China. This looks like a very acceptable figure. Plan B has my marketing and sales teams bringing in promotions for Japan to boost the sales. 
This would cause a drop in the gross margin by almost 17% in Japan. Comparing this to China's Plan A, a 17% decline in margin might not be the best thing to do. This definitely will be an alternative plan. I now send out another email to my sales manager in Japan, asking him to come up with a plan for promoting sales in Japan. That was Tina, the VP of Sales for CE. Finding a problem in sales, analyzing the problem, and coming up with alternate plans all by herself within a few minutes of using Steelwedge Mobile Insight.